And tonight, we are getting a glimpse at how our post-pandemic world could operate. New York rolling out a new app some people call a COVID passport, a one-stop shop that stores your tests and vaccine status and notifies businesses and venues. Madison Square Garden will be one of the first places to use it. News 4's Adam Harding is there live now. And Adam, how does it work? Well, Gebel, we know testing is so important to making sure that venues like Madison Square Garden behind us can open up safely. The city and state now promoting this new app that they hope will serve as essentially a COVID passport. Like when you go to the airport, you've got all of your documents in one place. Everyone we spoke with, some of them say this could be a potential game changer. Yep, the city is coming back all right, and the crowds in Midtown are building fast. Now the state is hoping its new Excelsior app can help speed things up even more. Would I have to join an app situation? You would have to download yeah, see, it. I, I wouldn't be able to do that. Ann Callanan might need some convincing, but she's open to anything that can get her back to a Broadway show. It is what she loves. You know, I want to get back to the theater as soon as possible. Yeah. Who doesn't? A lot of people don't, but I do. It was part of my life, a very important part of my life. The first of its kind app will serve as almost a COVID passport for anyone to use at major sports and entertainment venues. It will authenticate someone's vaccination or show proof of a recent negative COVID test. It all sounds like a win to Father Louis Skirty. Very convenient uh, because I have both shots and I have, of course, the card. And I laminate it just so I always have it with me. But the idea of having it as an app and just showing it where you go, whatever venues, I think it's a great idea, very convenient. Do you think it will help open the city up quicker? Please, I hope so. I think so. The state today also announcing a major milestone, eight and a half million vaccines administered, more than a million just in the last week. Well, this is one of the most exciting days in this fight against COVID. The mayor, meantime, touring City Field as more vaccines were distributed to city workers. The stadium will soon be hosting baseball games, but for now, it's still a site used in the war on COVID. So, Gilma, that app is now available for download. There's a second version of it for businesses that can download an app that can scan all of your information. That way it can make things easier. The hope, of course, is that will help businesses attract more customers and it can help open the city and the state up that much quicker. But to all of those who are a little concerned about having to download an app, it is not a requirement, just something the state believes will make things even easier. Live tonight outside of Madison Square Garden, I'm Adam Harding, News 4.